John DeVore, welcome to the channel. Today is going to be upbeat. It's a record review. Well, all right, a little backstory. This this time of year, I uh, always tend to have a little bit of a dip in my mood. It's sort of a this it's a seasonal affliction. Generally in March, you know, less sunlight for any number of reasons. Um, I'm always my annual mood cycles. March, this time of year is always kind of a lower point. Um, and I'm aware of it and it's no big deal and I, I roll with it. And, uh, and this year I was kind of in that dark pocket. And a couple of days ago, so we have, there's a there's a factory car. It's a it's an old beater Subaru Legacy wagon. It's the company car. It's what we, we run. We grab two by fours or whatever, whatever it is. It's the company car. And the, the main person who uses it is our production manager, Dahlia, who you met. She was on one of the videos at the end of the first year of the channel, and she was she was reading the top pick comments um, that I was replying to. So she was the last person to have used the car. So I, I got in it. I think maybe I was driving home because it was pouring rain or something like that. Get in the car, close the door, turn it on. You know, generally the radio is on, and New York's got some decent stations. The radio stations are in the car, um, depending on what's coming in or who's doing a fun driving uh, week or whatever. It could be uh, WKCR, it could be WFMU, it could be SOU, SOU, SAO, SOU, WSOU, which is the uh, all heavy metal all day. Uh, or maybe WNYC. Anyway, normally that's where it comes on. Suddenly, blasting out of the hi-fi is Jamiroquai. Completely infectious, danceable, and Dahlia had left her CD in there. And a lot of times when she uh, has to run up to Queens and back or something like that, she'll, she, she has a bunch of CDs in the glove box and she'll throw one in. And she had left her Jamiroquai Traveling Without Moving CD in there. And it was awesome. I hadn't heard that record in years, many years. Listened to the whole thing and then driving back and the next morning, was happy to have it playing again. And uh, got back to the office, dug around, found my, my record from the 90s, pulled it out, played the whole thing, all four sides. Totally loved it. Played it nice and loud. It is so positive. There's something about this record. And so, this is the out. This is the uh, this is the record that we're talking about today. Jamiroquai, traveling without moving. This was their breakthrough. I think it was their their second or third record that they put out. But it's the first that really feels like. So there's something about Jamiroquai, Jamiroquai and and Kay's singing J J K. Um, that is infectious and i feel like that moment started with this record uh mid 90s i remember i got this when it first came out look at them just floating in orbit in their cool little 70s kind of pod chairs they are so cool i mean it, it's it, there's a so that that sort of has a p-funk vibe to it i would say maybe uh Musically, I mean, you've all heard Jamiroquai. This is, for me, this is their best album, at least in terms of just being a consistent joyride from absolutely from the beginning to the end. Musically, it's fun. Um, I guess these guys are considered a little bit of an acid jazz group. Uh, it, it certainly is funk. Acid jazz was in the air, you know, this is 90s. Acid Jazz was definitely in the air with, um, you know, US3 or US3 and Groove Collective. It was a, a flavor that was infecting a lot of music. So I would agree with that this has Acid Jazz in it. Uh, JK, when he talked later on, when he, looked, when he was talking back about this album, he said <clears throat> that when when they set out to write and record this album, he just wanted this to be a giant, universal, consistent, and filled 
with like happy, you know, joy. And it is, it's absolutely filled with joy. It's, it's, it's songs are about hooking up and having fun and, and love and driving fast cars. I mean, look at that. That's, that's Dumerquai, uh, styled as a Ferrari badge. There it is. That's Ferrari. It's definitely Ferrari. I wonder if they ever got sued by Ferrari. I doubt it. I'm guessing that JK was, uh, was at least, uh, officially an unofficial, uh, spokesperson for Ferrari. Cause I know he, there was videos with him in, in cars. I don't, was it a Ferrari or was it a Lambo? I think it was maybe a Lamborghini. Anyway, pure joy. Sounds great. Front to back. It just takes you on a fun trip. Makes you want to move. You love to play it loud. Highly recommended. Um, and, uh, if you need something to get yourself out of a funk and you don't feel like, uh, dwelling in the funk and enjoying that, the darkness, this is definitely one way that may get you out of it. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked the video. Roxy and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.
set up.